today, another ride on the bicycle. I'm with Jimmy and we're heading into his work for some top secret meetings and maybe some not top secret stuff as well. Long route in, which should be nice. Legs are feeling surprisingly tired after the yesterday's easy ride. How are you feeling, Jimmy? I'm pretty good, actually. Oh, you didn't ride anyway. You rode my mountain bike for two seconds. No, I, I went to the gym yesterday, though, so I've got like a bit of ache on. But what? It, was, it, was, it wasn't much. It wasn't much legs, so my legs are feeling quite good. You went to the gym. What's that like? It's interesting. You like move things that are like heavy um, and put your body in like really strange positions. So you like stretch your hips. What? Hip flexibility. What's it like being in a gym when your name is Jim? My name's James. Oh yeah, Jameson Nicholson. Everyone's like, you know, when people get to the gym and they're like, oh yeah, gym, yeah. I'm like, what, yeah, what, what's up? And they're just like, oh no, no, I'm just excited to be working out. Question for you, Jimmy. Hello. How much extra daylight do we have here compared to London in the uh, summer? 12 hours extra. I don't think it's 12 hours, but no, it seems I, like no, it's a lot. Like yeah, it's, it's not 12 hours, is it? Um, six hours actually. <laughs> let's say 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening. 30, you reckon? Yeah, let's just say, let's go with that. It's definitely a lot because today, what is it? Well, it was 7 a.m. and it felt like midday. It was ridiculous. It, the yeah. sun had been up for so long. Yeah. And it's not even, well, not even close to summer yet. Once you get to the, what's the day in the summer where it's the longest day? It's the sol summer solstice. Solstice, isn't it? Yeah. So that will be the, m the most amount of extra light that we get. So our summer solstice will be like an hour or something more than like London. To be fair, we do suffer in the winter because then there's less light and it just changes the more north you go. So like tip of Scotland. Barely any daylight in winter, loads of daylight in summer. It's almost a bit weird. We're, it, like it is noticeable. Feels weird commuting with a bag on. I'm having flashbacks, Jimmy. animals kind of look the same like that doesn't look much that much different from Bella really what but well, look at the, look at that look at that in terms of its shape and size it's basically Bella what do you not think no it's a sheep and Bella's a dog and a different color and different all right that one there then. well not like like baby animals not small ones four-legged ones baby elephant looks like Bella yeah, have you not seen a baby elephant? Quite big though. And they don't have a trunk. No, their parents give them that when they want to keep them out. My dad always wanted a baby elephant. And he got one. I feel at one with the gravel. This is actually turning out to be a very like nice commute. <laughs> yeah. What you did like, you text me this morning saying I'm so miserable and it's cold <laughs> it's and cold horrible. and raining. And you were just like, wow boy, wow boy. I'm like, oh no, wow boy. I just want to go to bed. And now I feel fucking fantastic. It always pays to go on a bike ride, Jimmy. Always. Does it? Yeah. Nah. Even I'm a bit tired today, I'm enjoying this. It's always the same dance. <laughs> I've got two arms and I have to maintain a certain amount of stability. So I'm fairly limited to just kind of moving my arms in some kind of fashion. Dangerous. <laughs> Dangerous. I won't put pressure on you anymore, do we? He's like, I want that cardboard. You actually do work here. Leave it. My top secret meeting is actually with Bella. That's why I rode in. Talking about boxes and which is the best box. Because we basically have the same hobbies. Sitting around eating, destroying boxes. Exercising, pooping. Yeah, exercising. She hasn't, I mean, I do my exercise on the bike. 
she runs. I thought we weren't going to give her any more of that. That pizzle stick? It's a, a cow's trachea stuffed with goose moose. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's goose moose? It's gooses turned into moose stuffed inside of a cow's trachea. One of my favourites. <laughs> I'm not even joking. If you want your own trachea stuffed with goose moose, you can use code JIMMY15 for 15% off. At what website? Ask us. Ask us. Have you seen the, be the, 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 the deer leg? I think if I want to put it on YouTube. Three World Cup. My ride home is going to be sad without you. Yeah. But I will see you soon for another commute and have fun at work. Thanks. Enjoy. Bye. Nice to see those guys and nice to be out on the bike, but my legs are feeling terrible today. I don't know what it is. On the ride over and right now, I feel like I've got doms. I'm trying to think if I climbed any stairs or lifted loads of weights without knowing yesterday. Completely weird because I didn't ride that far. It's all right though. Just need to get home and then rest day tomorrow before a three day quite hard block to finish off the week. Do a little bit of mountain biking with Tony and a nice hard turbo session as well. So finish off the week strong. Managed to sneak a peek at some of the new Atticus kit that's being released in the next couple of weeks. Couldn't put it on camera, but safe to say it's looking pretty cool. Thought I'd come out here, keep the legs going. Bit of walking, nice active recovery because uh, my legs felt so bad on that ride. Maybe moving them, but not pedaling will help. I always get a little bit like this, agitated when I'm in the third week of a training block. So I've been tending to do three weeks on, one week easy. And that's quite a nice sustainable way to keep the training load going, but then giving yourself a little break just when you need it. Because we're now approaching the races, we're pushing things a little bit more with the idea of tapering off and getting super fresh just before the race. So it always means going through a period where you feel a little bit run down, a bit tired, but it's a means to an end. And we'll see uh, how long I can actually keep this up for at least for the first couple of races where I do want to be performing my best and then you can kind of go into maintenance and just maintain the fitness as long as I'm fit enough to get round, enjoy the events uh, that's the main thing so we'll see and we'll see what happens when I sharpen up a little bit soon beautiful day for a walk anyway shorts weather every day is shorts weather in the northeast though you see people walking around Newcastle in shorts even when it's snowing I wanted to end today's video with a shout out because Tony has finally started his YouTube channel so Link down below, now daft. Give him a subscribe, give him a like, give him a comment. Go nuts on it, give him thousands of likes and comments. That would be amazing. Get him making some more videos. His first upload looks awesome and there's a crash in it. So no excuse not to watch basically. We're gonna be heading out on the mountain bikes together tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Please like, comment and subscribe on this video and I'll see you guys soon.